In this video tutorial I'll show you how to use a Stalker Photoshop action. So I'm gonna show you a couple examples that I made using that action. From this photo I created this. Okay. From this created this. From this this. Okay. So I'm gonna just close down this windows now and I'm gonna leave the photo that I'm gonna work with, okay? So on this photo I'm going to play the action now and uh, I'm going to show you how to customize how to use uh, the action and how to customize the effect uh, when the action is finished, okay? So first uh, to open your photo just go to file open and uh, after you choose your photo just click open, okay? Uh, so uh, when you open your photo, uh, first thing you need to check is that your uh, photo is a background layer, so it should be called a background, and uh, have this uh, lock icon. And if it's something like this or anything else, just go to layer, new, and choose background from layer. Okay, so uh, this step is very important, and you must make your layer background layer, otherwise the action won't work. Okay. Also check the image mode; it should be RGB color mode, 8 bit scan and let's check the image size uh, your uh, image size should be at least 1500 for, uh, wide or height okay and about the resolution uh, I honestly didn't test the action on the lower res resolution that's 300 but it should work okay so uh, I'll just leave it uh, like this okay so to load the action just go to window actions uh, click on this little arrow here, go to load actions and uh, just choose the action that came with the load, okay? So I have already loaded the action uh, here it is so now uh, what you need to do is to make a new layer double click on its name to, and just type a brush all letters must be lowercase, okay? so otherwise the action won't work and now just pick a brush tool choose any color, it's not important just choose some color so you can easily see what you have brushed, okay? And just brush over your photo. Okay, you don't have to be precise, so I'm just gonna do it quick. Okay, that's it. So all you have to do after you brush your photo is to play the action. So the action needs a few minutes to complete and it depends on your image size. Uh, so I will fasten the video here and when the action is finished um, I will show you how to... I'm gonna, I'm going to, I'm gonna go through all, all the layers so I will show you how each layer works and how can you customize the effect. Okay. Okay, the action has just stopped, so first I will close the action panel and uh, you will see that when the action is finished the group uh, stalker will be selected so just if you're on PC just hold Control Alt button or if you're on Mac hold Command Option and uh, just click on this little arrow here so that way you will close down all the folders, okay? So as you can see the action creates this uh, some kind of a post-apocalyptic scene, okay? So. Uh, first uh, I will play with the uh, stalker group and then I'm going to go to adjustments okay so let me drag this over here uh, let's see what we got here uh, this is the overlay texture and this texture uh, has a layer mask so if you hold the shift button and uh, click on it you will disable it so the texture will go all over your model and you can also increase the opacity here okay, as you can see so uh, there's the uh, overlay texture I'm gonna leave it uh, at opacity 40 and I'm gonna leave the layer mask here okay so you can just uh, you can choose a white color select its layer mask and brush on the place where you want to texture uh, appear or brush black where you want to remove it okay so I'll brush a little bit like this okay so as I said, with black color you can remove it where you want. 
Uh, this letter says brush white into uh, to reveal your uh, photo quick. Brush uh, white into mask to reveal your photo quick. So if you select this layer mask and choose a white color, just going to remove all the parts, all the te uh, all the parts that are going uh, over your uh, model. Okay. So uh, if there is some part that you don't like it, you can also remove it this way. And I'm going to show uh, another way. Uh, here we got the front parts. So all parts that are going uh, over your model are front parts, okay? And uh, what you can do, you can select this layer mask, uh, choose a move tool, and you can move them wherever you want, okay? And also this is a layer mask, so you can, if you brush with the black color, you'll remove the parts, or if you brush with white, you'll get them back, okay? When you open it, the group, you'll see they're uh, fully layered, so you can choose uh, any of these parts layer, select it, uh, it's a candle energy and uh, you can just move them, okay? Uh, you can also transform them, rotate, scale, whatever you want. You can also duplicate them and create more parts, okay? You can even duplicate the whole folder if you like, like this. Uh, just like the group, okay? And uh, if there is some part that you simply uh, that you don't like, you can simply turn it off, okay? Or uh, uh, you can uh, brush black into its layer master to remove it. And uh, okay, uh, that are the uh, uh, front parts. Uh, and uh, uh, another uh, great tip is uh, if you, for example, you want to remove. Uh, let's say this part here, okay, so you don't know uh, which exactly this layer is that part, so you don't know how to remove it, okay, you can brush here on this layer mask, but it will remove other parts too, okay, so you, you want, uh, for example, to remove only this uh, part, so then just check the auto select option, set this to layer, and just click on uh, any, layer, any layer inside the group, and click there, okay, and uh, that layer will be automatically selected here, so you can turn it off or remove it by brushing into mask. Okay. So this is your photo, and um, uh, okay. So uh, you, what you can do here uh, is to uh, brush black into layer mask to remove your photo someplace if you like. Okay, like this or brush white to get them back and what we got here are the back parts okay so that are all these blurred parts in the background and they're also all layered and you can customize them the same way with front parts okay you can uh, scale them move them duplicate them remove them um, uh, do whatever you want okay so uh, here we got the background textures Okay, so that are these textures uh, uh, that are uh, behind your uh, behind your model. Okay, and uh, when you open the group, you'll see that some textures are turned off, so you can easily turn them on. To the more textures, you get texture extras. Okay, and what you can do with all these textures is to play with color modes. Okay, and change the opacities. I usually leave the color mods uh, as they are uh, here, okay, I just play with opacities. You can remove any texture by turning it off, or you can uh, also brush black into layer mask. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off these two textures, I'm gonna leave them right there. And you can also even remove the all textures, or just br brush black on the places where you want to remove them. Okay. Uh, this layer is called one color background, so if you turn it off, you'll have a one color background, and when you double click on this little box here, you'll be able to change the color, okay, to any color that you like. And uh, I'm just gonna leave the background that I have here, so I'm not going to use the one color background. And what we got here, okay, so this is the original background, and uh, this is the some background effect, okay, and you got the background blur. And if you want to, if you wish to add more blur, you can uh, turn on the layer, add more blur here. 
and you can also play with the opacities to control the blur okay and but you can also remove all these three layers and just leave the background as it is okay and in this case i'm going to leave them all turned on maybe i will lower the opacity layer to about 50. okay so that's actually uh, uh, that what you can customize here and uh, you can place your own background if you like uh, just select the layer, uh, add more blur, go to file, just choose place, choose the background, you can place right there. And uh, you can also apply uh, one color background layer and then lower its opacity, okay. So that way you can change a little bit color of background. And it's a stalker group, so uh, we have the adjustments. So as you can see they are very important here. And when you open the group, what we got? Okay, this is the overall sharpen. This layer is turned off, and after the action is finished, if you're happy with the result, you can simply turn it on. But if you, um, if you customize the effect, then remove this layer, and after you finish with customizing, then make it again. Okay, and that's what I'm going to do now. So just go to image, apply image. Okay, go to filter, other high pass, set radius to uh, two, and click OK and change its color mode to linear light and then by moving this cursor here control the uh, sharpen amount okay so you're gonna set about 50 okay uh, and uh, this is the overall brightness layer when you double click here okay you can play with these three cursors uh, here to change the brightness of your photo you're gonna increase the brightness a little bit okay like this and this is the overall contrast so I can also move this cursor to control the contrast and the overall saturation so when you double click here you can move this cursor to control the saturation you can even make your photo black and white Okay, so just play here, set it something like this, and this is the color tone. Okay, so I usually don't customize anything here, but if you like, you can play with the this uh, this layer. Okay, you can change the midtone settings, shadows, or highlight settings. You got a photo filter as well, so you can play there also. And let's create this little. This is the gradient map that's giving some uh, black and white effect a little bit. It's actually desaturating the photo, so you can also uh, this cursor control the saturation. Let's leave it to 40. Okay. So uh, also uh, I forgot to mention here we got a brush layer that you made in the beginning of the video, and for case you want to play the action again can simply uh, uh, get out this uh, background layer okay and then remove these two groups and just play your action again and uh, every time you run the action you know you're gonna get, uh, get a, a slightly different uh, result even if you use the same brush area okay so all these parts and uh, textures are gonna uh, will have a slightly different form okay so that's it uh, I hope you understood everything uh, but if you if you need any questions or you need any help, you can contact me anytime uh, via my Envato profile page. Thanks for watching. Bye.